Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. He says I'm cute. Thank you for joining me today. I am He Says or CJ to a few of you. Today is the first day of our new Sanctuary Valley and I wanted to take a few minutes and do a record a video on my tips and tricks that I use for managing the Sanctuary Valley. Now, as m many of you who have watched my videos know, I use, I play uh, four, oh, wrong one. I use, I play four main farms on this device and in my, inside of my hood. Um, and I wanna show you part how to manage your valley when you're especially using multiple devices in a hood or how you can use your hood to help you. So I'm on my primary farm right now, my main farm, and I'm going to enter the valley for the first time. Boom, I've entered, okay, automatically next one. Boom, entered, and you can see I'm fairly close by to my original. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down through each one and automatically join the valley. Because this way I'm keeping myself close, hopefully. If I do it fast enough, usually I'm really close to each other. But we're in the same valley then. So on this farm, I'm with myself and I already know that usually, and you can find your other ones by looking for um, green. So there's another one of my hoodies there, there, where are my other? to farms. I could have sworn. Let's go see if I can find myself. There we go. So two of us are right there. Two of us are right there. We're close together. I try to always stay close together. It's even more important in the Chicken Valley than the Sanctuary, but I do try to keep us together. I, you can see up here there's an animal, it's the first one. So the next thing that I do when I enter a valley, we'll go back to my main farm after I have all of them in. You, I always look here, I clicked on my level, and if you go to the third tab, it's a sun tab. It tells you how many valley points you have, how you can get them. And then you can click the tab for tomorrow. Oh look, tomorrow, easy. I'm going to get a bunch of them just for doing derby tasks, which is great. And producing lures for fishing, also great. So it probably means I won't finish all of my tasks today for the derby because 20 points is a lot, and that's just one task. So if I finish the rest of my tasks tomorrow, then, you know, five times 20, that's 100. You get a 20, 50, and 100, so seven, 170 will get me there. That's easy to reach when you have those two combinations for tomorrow. Today, not as easy with that. You can also get that by entering the valley and going to the spins. As you can see on this farm, I already have two and that chicken with a check mark means that is for my farm pass. So I am getting two spins automatically for having already gotten 
to the second spin reward on my farm pass. It is actually one of the reasons why I take a farm pass every month is so that I can have these two. I also really like the deco. But after you spin, it pops back up just the same screen as the one we were looking at before. So then I can start and I can decide which way I want to go. Oh, somebody's already picked up that. Is there any other animals anywhere? There's one over here. There's a drop off. And I kind of look at the routes to see if there's a way. So any of these paw prints that you see are going to be places where you can drop animals off. And then if you go, there's not as many of them. Oh, I was hoping I could see. If you see any that pop up, none are up, which is a pain. Um, here, like here. This is going to tell me there's a hippo over there. So if I need to go and look, unfortunately there's not a lot of animals up. I was hoping to find one that also had the exclamation point. That's your group orders. You don't get as many requests for those. Yep, here you go. That one right over here. This is going to be a group order. This check mark here. That means three. And this right here, that one, is why I like to keep my trucks together. And if you have a really good hood, you don't need to have the multiple farms, A, to repair a broken down or to complete these order requests. And that will give you another animal out. So if I'm here... Let's see, oh, another animal popped up there. My task for today is to visit a fish shop. I try to always keep myself close to either a fish shop or a diner. They haven't changed that. 45 red tokens, that's easy to do, especially if you're delivering multiple animals. Four buildings, okay, that's not terrible. It's just a matter of choosing which path will get me the best process so you know if I take this way it's gonna get me to their fish shops over there so it's gonna take eight uh, or we look at this one up here to seven but if I go to that one there's no animals out so I kind of like to get a feel for the map I think heading this way may be my best bet. And sometimes you'll get to know once you've gotten all of these, if you jump over to the other ones. As you can see, this one only has one spin. I haven't gotten to that second. The chick voucher isn't, or the chick isn't checked. So I haven't gotten to that checkpoint on the farm pass. Boy, that is a tongue twister. You can see what I have today. This is a great day. It's a puzzle event for boats. So I'll be able to rack up those and check my daily test. That one needs a diner. Okay, 45 blue. So taking this path. Oh, not bad for myself. Okay, depends on how many spins. And if curiosity, what do I need? left 20 so 30 points so I need to do one more 15 I happen to have known that was coming so I had already started to prep a few of these I'll have three more let's see how close that's nine there's three out of my six go in since I'm doing a feed task this is why I took a feed task last night so I could work on prepping this so I'd have this part done. And I try to spread them out so I know that I have some of each going. 
Uh, we'll go produce some fishing lures. When I, it does not matter which fishing lure you produce when while you're doing this. It's just as fishing lure. That would change if the picture was different on that last one that says eight. So I already have a second spin. But if I finish off these next six, let me just show you what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and spin my diamonds. I finished that farm pass. Yay! Chicky goes bye bye. Into the air. I got my valley fuel spin. Now you can see I'm not collecting that mallet yet and I have other ones. Now these they don't count towards my barn, barn storage but I haven't collected this first one either because I hadn't decided you know if I was taking a task like eggs uh, I may apply it to Actually, that one doesn't affect eggs. The one I just passed here would. Um, I could do cakes. If I was doing like a sugar task or I knew that that was a task that it, our team usually takes and gets for the derby, then I would get maybe the extra slots. This farm happens to have max slots on everything. So it does, it, it does help. Don't get me wrong, those two extra spots make a big difference. But I tend to use them on ones where, like here, I haven't fully maxed out all of them. But back to the valley. So now I've gotten that. Now I have my three spins. And I'll check each of my farms this way and see combined what the best route would be for all of them to meet their goals and try to keep them within a couple of fuels at least of each other uh, stops if I can. Got some nice spins there. So I'll check out my other ones here too to see. Uh, to fish shop not bad for tokens five buildings so I really need that additional fuel so that those are mm, my derby tasks not helpful today but doesn't mean that I can't get there uh, second spin would be super nice on that so let's click some and this is why at the beginning it's always really nice if you get some easier tasks to do and now say I've got the second chick voucher my take a picture of how many coins I got I need 11 more I'm only going to get nine. If you, if I had done this a little bit better, I would have breached, but I can look and see what I can find here. But oh, I don't, I was hoping to get to that look. From this one, I can see there's a fish over here. So that's the angle I'll go with all of mine. Just double check my last one to make sure. Alright, so this one needs a delivery. So I'll try to see, you know, none of these are deliveries. And just try to check the route to see if there's any. And some of them are going to say too far away to see. That one's a delivery perfect, not too far in my way. That's the right path for me to head for all of my... And you can choose which one goes first or which order you go into it. 
And that's all you want to do is just look at them. And that's how I manage all four of them. And I can let them know. And just because, I'll, sh I'll show you. Um, this one isn't a delivery for me. But it was on that last farm. So not every farm gets the exact same. They may be the same buildings. and may have the same animals out the same map because you're all in the same valley it doesn't mean each building has the same task for each farm so I know I'll drive my one here I'll complete it complete this one because it'll go well, that one didn't help that but um, none of them were any big ones to collect look this one will be great it's telling me that those are going to my piggy bank by the way that's down here at the bottom they're adding down here if it has the pig on it so this task is going to you will get piggy bank tokens if you fulfill this task so I will get piggy bank tokens yes I need to go fishing for it but that's not a big deal So it's easy enough to complete, but that's how I'll work it is I will try to keep them all kind of together and meet the goals and you know, I, I choose which one this is my primary. So I will always make sure that I get the deco in this one. And as you can see the valley shop won't open for another two days and 13 hours. The time I'm looking at this, I want you know, I want the splashing fish. I'm a big sucker for those decos. Oh, I'll get the ten diamonds. It'll be easy to get those. We do need to collect the four hundred animals, and so far nobody's delivered any animals. But we'll get there. So fifteen tokens were added to my piggy bank. So I got some at the top, and I got some down here at the bottom. So those are, that's how I work. And if you want to see here, um, let's go back to the last one real quick. I'll show you that it did not change and make any of these buildings unavailable to it. I can still go, even though that's where I am. Did not hurt it whatsoever. So it, it's easy to manage multiple as long as you just have a routine. And I always try if it, and make sure I know. And if I know, like, oh, I, I've got two farms that need to do this, I can write it down. You manage it how you need to. But that way you're always looking ahead. You know how to plan your derby if that's going to be affected. You know how to plan your valley. And you can maximize the points that you're getting for each of those. Thanks for joining and watching this video. I know it's a little bit longer. There's a lot to cover. The sanctuary is where you're going to rack up the most amount of tokens. I always, always get you extra in here. And you can choose. I'm a little sad to see that there's not as many puzzle pieces. But... Now, hey, that, that happens. Oh, and you can see I've already completed one by doing two of my orders. So it pops up and I've moved one spot. Uh, I will try to update you as we go if you keep track. And I'll keep you updated on how my valley is going. If you have any questions, post them below. Thank you for watching a little bit longer of a recording today. In this video I really really help, hope that it's helpful when I get a little bit closer um, this will start to show up you know you can see the spot there if I get one up it'll show and if you ever want to know how many fuels real quick um, that'll take you the reason it said that this one's only two I'm here at this building here's one road stop there 
the next one is right there. That's why it only costs two. So you can kind of look to plan. It'll cost me another, cost me three from where I am now, but if I was here, it would cost me two to get to here because there's a stop in between. So it, you know, to get to here, it should only, it'll take me two because that's the, the point. One, two there, because you're going to count each of those road stops as one, one, and that way you can plan out uh, your fuel if you need to, to map out your path. You can always do that as well. Okay, guys, take advantage of the sanctuary val valley season. It will get you lots of tokens. As you can see, I've already hit just about... Well, over 20 in each of these, almost 30 and on two out of the three. And I only did three stops. So it's easy to rack them up, enjoy them, spend them, save for the end, whichever you choose. Feel free to leave a comment if you have a question or just a comment. I appreciate all your views. Don't forget to like my video. And let's grow this channel so hopefully I can give you guys even more to look forward to. Happy farming. Take care, y'all. Bye.